I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So I've decided that we're going to do these two uh, quests next. We're going to uh, acquire a staff for Arneal, and then we're going to destroy the Dark Brotherhood. Both of them are kind of fun, and the Arneal quest gives you, uh, at the end of it, a very nice summon. Uh, it's practically a game changer. So it is kind of a laborious quest to, uh, to take care of, but it's worth it. It looks like all this is kind of near where um, Olaf's verse is. So I might take care of that along the way too. So we're going to head south from uh, Solitude. Now that is a true little fact about bows. If you don't draw them all the way, they won't go nearly as far and they won't do nearly as much damage. But you still can quick, uh, you can fire a, uh, a bow without charging it all the way if you're in the middle of combat and you think you only need a quick, ah, there's another death bell. Oh, but I'm not collecting death bell anymore. But if you just need to do a little bit more damage to a nearby foe, Maybe if you're panic, uh, panicking because, oh, there, okay. Because otherwise you're gonna get killed by a monster that is charging you, then you can distraught a little bit and, uh, and see if a weak uh, short range arrow is, is enough. So let's uh, refigure where we're going. We're going a little bit southwest to find King Olaf's verse, because it is not a terribly distant detour. Where, unfortunately, right now, the quest markers. Oh. By the time I got myself organized, Jizargo had already killed it. But there's something else over there. Oh, a Karas. Interesting. Because they're not creatures that are uh, normally known for hanging out in the overworld. And there are a lot of death bell. Although one of the worrying things about the game does suggest that the, the Falmer uh, are returning to the surface and are organizing raids. Now there's south. So I'm going to pass by Fort Snowhawk and hit King Olaf's first. Now I could visit Morthal, it's another major city, but it's not a particularly useful major city. Oh, and there are. Abs down there. There was another one. Maybe I'm misremembering. Anyhow, here's a chest. I'm always surprised that materials like this wouldn't end up being ruined by the uh, the moisture. And more fungal pods for alchemy later. Great. Is this the right direction? Yep, straight ahead. So we're going to p pass by this fort up here. And I'm not sure if it's occupied by bandits or friendlies. A 
Let's just make a little bit of noise and see what happened. Nothing. It is kind of weird that that's how the game works. Oh, no, it is occupied by hostiles. Well, I wonder where it entrance, uh, its entrance is. Over here. Oh, undead and... Uh, goes to show that if you are a mage, it is not a winning strategy to just go charging at, at somebody. You should hold back. And, and fire. Okay. Well, let's see if So these are necromancers. Interesting. And I'm hearing creaky noises. There are some skeletons coming at me. Yeah, these guys just will not last long around me and Chisargo. That's a necromancer adept, actually. Interesting. Yeah, it's just, it's pretty dumb of, of them to uh, not to, not to pull back and attack me from afar. Oh well, no, not a bad place they have here. Like uh, Jazargo might be taking care of everything. Not sure if I've ever explored this place before. I wonder what's inside Fort Snowhawk. <clears throat> this just might be one of those dungeons where the game can then decide to put. A, uh, a quest in it later on. And when it does, it presumably uh, presumably cl uh, clears out its normal inhabitants. Oh. In order to do that. And there is a trap. Oh, I'm going to do this the mean way. Except it's not that mean because frost, frost Atronachs are not going to be much hurt by a frost trap. Two doors on the side, one that leads out. Not sure where Jizargo is. Sounds like he might already be in combat with, uh, with my foes. That's a weird place to get stuck. Yeah, I don't think you get to say do your worst and then mercy in close succession. That's Those are phrases that probably don't belong to, uh, together. This is all good alchemy stuff. Two more, three more potions. And a chest. Hooray!
But what are you doing? Where did you come from? Oh. So that necromancer was raised from the dead by presumably an, another one of my foes. Already looted the body. Aha! Uh -huh. That's where Jazargo is. Can I shoot through here? No. Darn it, I, I do not want Jazargo to die. Is there any way through here? No. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna have to race by here and see if I can get to Jazargo before they uh, before they kill him. So presumably there's some lower entrance down there. I really have no idea why he decided to enter through a different uh, entrance than me. But we did see some glitchy behavior on that front uh, earlier in the game. Why I, I entered a door that seemed to only have one entrance and he was there right in front of me as I came through. Oh, come on. I hope the game is at least decent enough to pause while it's showing the, the cutscenes so that he's not still fighting while I'm, uh, while I'm spinning this thing. Okay, so I came in through here. There's presumably another entrance somewhere around here. Maybe. Hopefully. Might be down there. Ouch. Okay. Don't worry, Jazargo, I am coming. You're not dead. Okay, let's summon a... Oh, there you are behind me. Well, okay, that's great. I think this is the other side of where I was. And I am again, uh, again puzzled where they keep the machinery needed to raise and lower stuff like that. And is there anything interesting up here? Not, not particularly. Oh, well now I have enough nightshade. So sometime later I'll have to return it. And here's an enchanting thing. Cool. And a block skill book. Well, that's always useful. Block is one of those skills where it's pretty hard to level in. Um, a whole bunch of other books that are probably not that important. None of these other books are, as far as I know, Books that start quests. Well, except for that one. And we're seeing a little bit of slowdown in the game right now. Anyhow, there's some garlic and some gold. And, uh, what look? <laughs> Enchanted clothes, because they have a little bit of a, a shimmer on them. And yeah, I'm seriously getting some slowdown right now. And these are some more alchemy reagents that I'm having trouble clicking on reliably because of the, the lag monster. And 
I don't actually want to do any uh, alchemy right now, so let's head outside and see if the lag will get better. If it is, then we're going to continue south in order to go get King Olaf's Spurse, which will let us join the Bard's College. Although it doesn't seem like it actually is any better. Let's wait to see when the auto-saving is complete, if that fixes things. No, things are, are pretty laggy. Um, I'll see you in the next Let's Play.